Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I am Joe Prisco. I am joined by Samara Kadane on our next installment of Blue Devils at Home. So, first off, Samara, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's a beautiful day here in Louisiana. How is everything uh, in your world over there? It's really good so far today. <laughs> Yesterday it was a little rainy, and but today it's really pretty outside and stuff. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so um, let's get into the next question. How did your online classes and your finals end up going? Uh, this? They actually went pretty well. It was better than when I was on campus. I actually ended with a 4.0 this semester. So. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, so the next question is, you know, how is your family doing? Because I assume you probably went back home to Texas. Um, so how's your family doing? My family's actually fine. We've been quarantined. We stayed with my grandparents the first month of quarantine so we can be around all of our family because most of my family stays here. So we usually just stay with each other. But then me and my mom came back home, but everybody seems, everybody's fine right now. It's just, we're all just adjusting to having to stay home a lot. Okay, and how is everything in Texas right now? With I know with the quarantine, you, you guys are one of the first states to kind of start easing some of the restrictions. How is everything in uh, Texas as far as like, what capacity can restaurants be at? Do you feel safe yet going out to restaurants and stuff like that or? Not, I don't really feel safe going to the restaurants. Okay. Dallas has a high number of cases. So yes. even though they've opened almost everything, everything is pretty much open. I don't feel comfortable being out okay. there because the cases just keep rising. So it's just, it's really, it's still bad out here, but nobody really seems to care. <laughs> I, I can understand. And I definitely echo, you know, the need to be safe despite uh, easing the restrictions. I myself, I'm uh, very much limiting the amount of time that I spend outdoors. But uh, I know some people start getting a little cavalier, you know, after they spent a, a couple of months indoors. And uh, it seems like you've got to, a pretty good idea and about uh, how to keep yourself safe and you know I'm sure your family also has similar ideas how to make sure everyone stays safe as well so <laughs> so let's see obviously being a collegiate athlete um, you spend a lot of time you know keeping in shape how have you been able to keep in shape uh, during this quarantine our coaches actually sent us a 10-week workout plan that we've been doing and on top of that I've been eating I've changed my eating habits I have been drinking a gallon of water a day and I've been adding her workout plans to it and so far I've, I've kept in shape very well I've also lost I want to say 26 pounds since I've wow. been home yes so that's just it's the best the, it's the best way I've, I've kept in shape in my whole life so. awesome awesome um so let me ask you um are the workout plans are a lot of stuff like stuff you can do indoors or is it kind of a combination of things you can do indoors and also outdoors it is it's a combination of both it's a lot of stuff that you're supposed to do in the gym also but i kind of just make do with what i have at yeah. home or i'll use alternative exercises to do in place of the ones you're supposed to do in the gym but most of it you can do at the track you can do inside your home it's just it's a mix of both okay no problem um, let's see um obviously you know you're you've been at home for a while you had your classes you're doing things to keep in shape um what are some other things you've kind of gotten into during these last couple months not much i can't really <laughs> I mean, there's not really much that I can do um, other than I work out, I play volleyball. I've been going, getting back into actually playing. Okay. And I stay home. Okay. Really. Um, do you, have, you got, have you gotten to any new TV shows or is there any new family activities you guys have started doing um, since you guys have been spending time together? Not really, no. Okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. Um, obviously, you know, right now, um, things are still, even though restrictions are easing a little bit for social distancing, but you know, still it's not quite safe. So what are some things you're looking forward to doing once you're able to fully get out and do things again? I, I'm looking forward to going to see my friends before I go back to school. <laughs> I haven't really been able to do that. My mom has kept me in the house, which is for good reason. 
So I'm not really like mad about it, but like I just I kind of want to be able to go see my friends and I just miss being out. I'm not used to being in the house all the time. <laughs> I don't like it at all, but it's for good reason because yeah. I'm I have asthma, which means that okay. if I caught the virus, yeah. Yo, definitely. It'd be, it'd be, you know, uh, bad news and be much worse for you with asthma. So it's even better that you're keeping safe in the situation. So um, let me see. Let's get into a personal question about you. Um, how long and when did you first start playing volleyball? I started playing, I want to say in the sixth grade or the seventh grade. It was, I think it was the sixth grade I started playing for rec. And then the seventh grade, I tried out for my middle school team and I didn't make it. So I continued to play through recreational volleyball and then I moved into club volleyball. And then I started playing in high school. Okay. Um, did you immediately fall in love with the sport um, or was it a sport that kind of grew on you after a while? I, when I started playing, I did, I, I loved it, but I was also splitting my time between basketball. I played, okay. basketball was more of my, main sport until I stopped playing basketball my freshman year and focused on volleyball. Okay. Yeah, my next question was whether sport you play, and obviously basketball was one of them, so uh, <laughs> you beat me to that question. Um, <laughs> um, let's see, when you're looking at all the schools you potentially could go to, how did you decide to attend Dillon? When, uh, when I was talking to schools about volleyball, Dillard was the most interested in me for volleyball. Okay. But Dillard kind of came at the end of the recruiting process. The coach had come for to watch another player on my club team, and she saw me play. And she just she loved the way I played, so she asked me if I would like to come to Dillard. And on top of that, I had already gotten a the scholarship, I think the presidential scholarship that I had. Okay. Awesome. I had gotten that from them, and she said that she would give me money to play also. And she was just the most consistent when it came to wanting me to come there. Awesome. So I chose. So, had you ever been to New Orleans before, um, you know, uh, being recruited by Taylor? Or? I had been to New Orleans probably when she met, when the coach met me, I was in New Orleans for volleyball. Okay, okay, so, okay. So your club team was playing here at that point? Um, okay. Awesome, awesome. Let's see. Um, so let's get a two-parter for you. So um, what's your favorite part about attending Dillard? And also the second part of what's your favorite part of being part of the volleyball program? Of attending Dillard? I, I love that the campus is very, it's family oriented. Like everybody knows everybody and everybody is there for everybody. I like that. I love that feeling, especially being at an HBCU and being surrounded. Because I've always been at predominant. Pre, I hate this one. I can't really say predominantly, <laughs> predominantly white schools. Okay. So being able to be surrounded by, like, I just love being at H HBCU, okay. and I love being by uh, uh, like surrounded by people who are very family oriented and being a part of the volleyball team. Well, I just love volleyball in general. Okay. <laughs> so being able to play and also I've made some amazing friends off of the volleyball team. Okay. Some okay. of my main friends from Dillard are from my teammates, so. Awesome. So um, obviously you're, you're not the same person you were when you first arrived on campus. So as you kind of look inward, um, what are some ways you've kind of grown since, you know, arriving on the Dillard campus? I've definitely learned how to be more independent. <laughs> <laughs> I've, my whole life I've been with my mom. My mom has done a lot for me. So moving on to Dillard's campus and being kind of on my own, it kind of helped me grow up more. It helped me be at more of my age. And I've definitely learned how to, like, be more outgoing and put myself out there more instead of kind of like being shy and saying to myself. And those are the two, like the two main things. I've just learned how to be more, more grown and more outgoing with other people. Okay. 
those are fantastic reasons. So um, we'll get into a couple of uh, questions about some of your favorites. So um, do you have a favorite actor or actress? Not really, no. Yeah. Like Michael B. Jordan. Okay, Michael B. Jordan. Okay. Um, how about do you have a favorite movie? Favorite movie. I have a lot of favorite movies. Okay, you can, you can go with a couple. It's, it's just I always give people the, the option if they want to just go with one or if they want to go with several. It's up to them. Uh, one of my favorite movies is Charlie St. Cloud. Okay. I don't know if you've seen that or not. I, I haven't seen that one. but uh, what, What's that one about? It's about a... Zac Efron plays in it. It's about a boy whose little brother died. I want to say in a car crash and okay. he he can see him like he works in a graveyard and he can see him okay so I got a supernatural feel to it but yeah it's, it's, i love as well so so that's awesome that's awesome how about um do you have a favorite tv show or TV. tv shows <laughs> Grey's anatomy Grey's anatomy okay that's a the second person that I've, I've been doing these interviews that's really like Grey's Anatomy. Um, have you watched uh, Private Practice? Because that's kind of a spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. Not yet. I haven't yet. Okay. I, I've heard that it's a good one, too. That's what, uh, based on one of my previous interviews. Uh, they, they really like Private Practice. So I'm making that suggestion to you, although I haven't really seen it, uh, off of a recommendation of someone else. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, How about, do you have a favorite um, a musical artist? Not really, no. Okay, no problem. Um, how about favorite athlete? You said athlete? Yeah, athlete. Who, who's your favorite athlete of all time, either growing up or your favorite athlete now, or maybe a combination of both? My favorite athlete now is Kat Bell. She graduated from the same high school as me. And okay. so, like, I didn't, I didn't really have a favorite athlete until I met her okay. when she came to practice with us. Awesome, awesome. Um, how about this? Um, this is going to be kind of an off-the-wall thing. But, so um, do you have a favorite animal? You know, whether it's a pet, uh, whether it's, um, you, know, a, you know, more exotic animal. Do you have a favorite type of animal? I love cats. Okay, okay. Um, do you have a cat personally? Or? I don't because my mom doesn't like them. Okay, I wish okay. I could, but she doesn't <laughs> like them. No problem, no problem. How about um, this one? It seems like a lot of people, they enjoy shopping. Um, do you have a favorite uh, store at the mall or a favorite store to shop at? Not really. I'm not really big on shopping. Okay, no problem. Um, let's see. Uh, we can get back on to you. Um, what has been the best class you've had so far at Dillard? The best class. Or classes, you know, whatever ones you want to, whatever way you want to answer that. My personal, my, my favorite class was FYS because of my teacher, Dr. Barnes. Um, he was probably my favorite teacher and he just made that class. Like he, I was more involved in that class because it was just easier to learn stuff from him. Yeah, he, he made a fun environment to, to learn that, that sort of way. So it wasn't like he was just lecturing. He was kind of an engagement sort of opportunity. Yes. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, now we're gonna get into what do you feel as if the best meal on campus? The best meal? Yeah, what's, what is your favorite meal, say, on campus? When you're eating on campus, what is your favorite meal? Uh, I like the quesadillas from the grill. Okay, awesome. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite off-campus meal as well? Places you like to hit up in the New Orleans area when uh, you're uh, when you have the opportunity. Any place that has crawfish. Okay, crawfish. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me ask you. I, I heard from another one of your uh, another one of our athletes. That the crawfish in Texas are excellent. So is there uh, you know is the uh, crawfish in New Orleans better than the crawfish in Texas or is it? I don't think so, but a lot of people have different opinions from me. Okay, okay. <laughs> no problem. Um, how about this? We'll get to your teammates. Um, who is your funniest teammate? There's a lot of them. I would or, say... Our teammates. Hmm. The funniest, I would say, is Kennedy. But a lot, there's a lot of them. Kennedy, Cameron, Cody, 
they're they're all pretty and Chloe. Those they're all pretty funny. Okay, okay, I can go with that. Uh, how about this one? Um, who is would you say is maybe your most organized teammate? You know, the person maybe they they keep their whacker immaculate in their way. It could be you as well. Um, of all your teammates or all members of the volleyball team, who would you say is the most organized or the neatest? Because I know Kiavion person like more than everybody else, I would say so far she's the most organized that I know. Okay, awesome, <laughs> awesome. So if you had the opportunity to kind of meet any historical figure, um, who would you like to meet and why? Or figures? Hmm. So I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. Uh, no problem. Um, you know, for example, some people said that they would like to meet President Obama. Um, some people said they would like to meet Malcolm X. Um, but, you know, it's up to you. You know, like some people wanted to meet like Serena Williams, but it's up to you. If you don't want to meet anyone, that's fine. But that's, that's the sort of answers we've got for that question. So. <laughs> I would say Martin Luther King. Okay, Just that's also, that's a yeah, just because of like everything that's going on right now, mm -hmm. and kind of like he's one of the main historical figures that we've heard growing up, mm -hmm. like throughout my whole life. That's one of the main ones that I've heard. So probably. Him. Okay, that's a, that's a wonderful answer. I don't think we've had that one yet. Amazingly enough, so that's that's a great answer. Um, how about this one? Um, do you have a hidden or unknown talent that maybe not a lot of people know about? Uh, I don't know if like writing counts as one. I'm actually a very good writer. That's that's so. a great talent. <laughs> what, yeah. what do you enjoy writing, or what is the, what what's your uh, way to communicate writing wise? Do you like to write stories, or um... I used to write poems. I haven't in a while, but I used to before I came to Dillard. I used to write them a lot. Awesome! Awesome. Um, I know that uh, uh, Amara Edwards, um, she also was a poet. So I know there's things to do in campus if you ever wanted to get back into that uh, avenue as well. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, do you have any pregame rituals? You know, anything that you do before every game or, you know, you have to, you know, put your uniform on in a certain order or anything else like that? Um, not really. I usually talk to my mom before every game. She kind of calms me down take some of the nerves away so that's pretty much it okay how about this one um you know i know that you're in college now uh, but eventually when you you know graduate and get out into the real world what's the thing you're looking forward to the most buying with your first paycheck or saving towards for your first paycheck <laughs> uh probably getting my own place okay that's a great answer uh, you know that independence i've heard that one a couple of times um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, say you get inducted into the Hall of Fame, whether it's the Dillard Hall of Fame or whether it's your work Hall of Fame or, you know, your high school Hall of Fame. Um, who are some people you would thank in your Hall of Fame speech? Definitely my mother. Um, and one of my old coaches that he still works with me today. He's been a big part of why I've been why I've been able to be a part of volleyball still, um, and my family. Okay. Um, how about this one for you? Um, uh, what was your first ever job? I I haven't had a job yet. Okay. All right. No problem. <laughs> it's very sad that I haven't had a no, job. No, it's yet. not. <laughs> I mean, you're you're a collegiate athlete, so it's really hard to kind of balance time. Um, so it's no problem at all. Um, you know, um. I know you're from uh, Mesquite, Texas, or at least that's what's listed in your bio. Um, so what, you know, tell me something about Mesquite or what you're proud of, like, you know, uh, about your hometown. Mesquite is very, um, I don't know how to explain Mesquite. There's not really much that goes on here. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it's, it's on the outside of Dallas and there's like, it's very, calm there's not really much that happens there's not much trouble that happens out here and it's just like very quiet and calm out here and i love that about it okay the calmness is a good answer um let's see um what's one thing that maybe you don't know how to do yet but you definitely would like to learn to do in the future uh 
I don't know. I would have to think about that one. Yeah, no problem. We can come back to that one. Um, how about this? Um, if say they're making the movie about your life, what uh, actress would you want to play the part of you? Part of me. Uh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't. I don't. No I don't know. Oh, we can come back to that. It's no problem. Um, <laughs> just getting to know you questions, so it's no, no no worries, no pressure on you or anything else like that. So, um, how about this? Um, what's one thing that people often misunderstand about you? People usually think uh, I act very goofy, and people usually take that as me being not as smart as I am. Okay. So that's kind of, kind of something that people miss and understand about me. They don't understand that just because I act goofy doesn't mean that I'm not smart. Cause okay, I, no, I yeah. no problem. You, you like to kind of use humor in ways to kind of, you know, keep everyone, you know, uh, calm. I, 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 de I definitely get behind that. So, you know, you, <laughs> you don't want to show off in front of everyone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about this one? So, um, you know, obviously, you, you can answer yourself, but um, maybe who's the smartest person that you know? My mother. Your mother. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, when you daydream, um, you know, do you da daydream more about things in the uh, past or about things in the future? Future. More about the future. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, What's one thing in your life that you could not live without? My phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good answer. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, my last question to you, um, I know that uh, you know, you're with a psychology major, so um, you know, um, what would you like to do with your degree once you graduate from Dillard? Um, what's the next step for you? I have, I, I'm not really sure yet, but I have three plans. I either want to go into something dealing with child psychology, be either a clinical psychologist, or I had heard that I could use my psychology degree to do something like in the criminal justice area. Okay. So I want to do something for either one, three, one of those. Okay. Well, I appreciate the time and you um, talking to me today and getting the opportunity to kind of get to know you a little bit better. Um, you know, and it, you know, like I said, this is just the opportunity to kind of get to know you better. And that way, you know, the people, uh, um, uh, Blue Devil Nation can kind of get the opportunity to kind of get to you on a more intimate level. So thank you very much.